Your ring is really... Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> I need sunglasses. I should have wore shades today. You're so silly. No, that ring is really beautiful. Did he pick this ring out for you, or did yes. you? Did you? Or did you hint? Did you give a hint? Like, no, no, babe, my... That one three and three rows to the left. No, you're so like, silly. <laughs> I call it the ring of love. You know, um, that's it's... a lot of love in that <laughs> ring. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so sweet. <laughs> he said we need the prayer, we need oh. the prayer. Everybody wants the prayer, right? So wait, what is the story you of that? You guys are so sweet. The story honestly, is that you, you praying on it, right? Like well, you... I never said that, but... <laughs> But I did do that. I did pray. <laughs> but the fans are so sweet. I think they've just been going on this ride with me and you gotta think there has to be some kind of prayer. You know, that brings you to the, you know, to the journey, through the journey. What is the prayer? Is there, <laughs> what is the prayer? Is there a specific prayer or do well, you? you know, everybody I prays prayed, different. Everybody prays different. I prayed many times. Um, you know, I mean, I say everything that I prayed, but I can tell you, I was very specific at this point in my life. And first things first, first thing first is when I started to like get myself centered, I started to understand the power of loving myself firstly. Mm. And I had to like, you know, commit to that idea. Let me love myself. Let me get myself in the right place, you know, so that, you know, I can one, love myself. If I love myself right, then I believe I can get the love that I deserve. I'll have the love, I'll be, I'll be loved the way that I deserve. Mm -hmm. And then I can also be clear enough to love the way I'm supposed to love as well. Um, you know, as far as praying, I did have many times where I prayed. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in that space with just you and your baby, my baby boy, my little juicy man. <laughs> He's so cute. Forever juicy man. Gosh, when he gets older, you're like, Mom, all right, lose that name. Uh, <laughs> or maybe not, it might work oh for him. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, no, but when it's just me and him, you know, I'm very specific because it's not only about me, but it's also about him now. Mm. So I can't play around. There's no more experimenting. Like, I thought I was gonna be single for like four years. I had that in my mind. I was like, and I don't know why that number was four years, but I was like, I was really ready to like take my time and be patient and let love really fall in place the right way because I desire something new. You know, I desire something different. I desire to, to be loved to the highest capacity. Mm. Um, you know, and to be loved the way that I felt I deserved. Um, so when I prayed, I'll tell you a few things that I did pray. Um, you know, I prayed for a God-fearing man. I prayed. Oh, God. I prayed for discernment. Mm. I prayed for wisdom, to really learn from the wisdom that I'm gaining through the experience that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. um, I prayed for a man that loved kids because obviously me having my son, that was, if you're gonna love me, you gotta love him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I prayed for a man that was worldly as well, because I love to explore. So someone that's gonna edify my world is important to me. I was ready to level up. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. know, but I can go on and on. I prayed many but different wow, things. Wow, but you got all the things you were praying on. Uh -huh. <laughs> God is amazing? good. You know, God is good. But I look God at is life. Good, but sometimes you pray for something and God be like, that's not really what you need. I'm going to give you what you really need. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But you, you know, know what? I did pray for what I needed to. Oh, that's good. Th that's important, right? Yeah. Like, we can want love, but what does that mean? I think we have to be really specific about what we're attracting to our lives because love can look different in different scenarios yeah. and in different people. So we got to be, we got to be really, that's why I think you have to be in you, sometimes you, you need specific. time by yourself to you get do. there. You yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And I had the best time at that moment just rolling with my son. I was like, let's go. Like, I gained 60 pounds. 60? I was like, Yeah. What? I was like, <laughs> yes. And I Where? said I was, by the way, I said I was never going to. Oh, it was all everywhere. <laughs> I did like the hips that came with that. <laughs> what was, what were you eating? Everything. <laughs> I just, I, you know, at first I was like, I'm on like, you know, do good. Then all of a sudden, like five month mark, I was like, let's oh just get God. it. Oreos, what's up? Cheeseburger, let's go. French fries. <laughs> it's like, I'm pregnant, so it's cool. It's all good. And then I go, I was like, I'm not going to do that again, ever, 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 you know, when I have my next child. And then with Sienna, I gained 65 pounds. Yeah. Um, 
you know, but I guess my point is, is that when I was on that, where's where about to go with that? Um, <laughs> when I gained my, um, you know, 60 pounds and it was just me and, little, you know, Juicy Man, I was like, mama got to do what mama got to do. I was like, I'm going to focus. I'm going to work. Part of loving myself was me also working out and taking care of myself. So I revved up my training plan, like aggressively, met with my nutritionist. I just focused on me so heavy. I mm. focused on like really figuring out how I wanted to get better. Um, I had so much fun with with future. He would sleep. He was like my teddy bear. So he slept with me way longer than they would suggest any parent to sleep with their baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's we so went to funny. like 11 months, you know, because once Russ came into our lives, like, okay, we got to switch this up. Like, future can't be sleeping in the bed all the time. But Russ was so patient. He was so sweet because the sweetest thing is, and I won't get emotional, but he, when he came into our, our lives right away, changing diapers, we were like easing future out of sleep, out of sleep training, like into sleep training. Like we would have his, this, you know, like you have a little pack and play, you can move it to the room with you. Yeah. So he would sleep in the room with us for a while. And then I'm like, okay, Russ is so patient right now and this is great, but I don't think this is a good idea for us to keep doing this for a long time. <laughs> yeah. But we put our heads together, you know, and we, we slept, trained him together. And that was hard. Good seven days of him just crying, you know, before he's to go to bed. Oh, everyone... I hate that process. Oh my god. You know what that is? <laughs> so you have to so the, the, the theory, the thinking is that you gotta put the baby in the in their room and there and you let them cry. You gotta let them and cry. you can't take them out no matter what. You just let them and keep it crying. Hurts. And it takes they say three days, but if you oh, break if you it, do it. You have to start all oh, yeah, over exactly. again. exactly. And we can, But it's torturing. It is. And they go, mommy. And they cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm hurt, mommy. <laughs> you know, you yeah, go through that. It's but horrible. Then it's, it's good, though. It's worth it because, gosh, I'll tell you, with two kids, it is the best thing that they know when they're supposed to go down for their naps. Future doesn't nap anymore, but he's such a good kid. And <laughs> go to it's bed. Good. Yeah, exactly. Get but in your it's, bed. It's this is good. mommy and daddy's bed. <laughs> yeah, you go to your exactly. bed. Exactly. <laughs> but it's good, though, because they know, like, like they know what to expect. We know what to expect. We get to have time for ourselves. Yeah. By the you way, know. happy early Mother's Day. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to any moms. Yeah, here. happy Mother's Day to all the mamas. All the moms. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you share that story because people think, you know, they only see pieces. Yeah. And don't really understand the hard times and the times. Oh you're... my gosh. With your yeah. people, because I know you have a, a pretty strong girl crew. Like you have yeah. great friends. So my add girl that girl gang. Girl gang. <laughs> girl gang right? <laughs> My girl gang lit. Hey. Were they, <laughs> were they a big part of that time oh of getting gosh. you through that time? Yeah. Huge, huge. So we have, her girl crew is pretty impressive, by the way. <laughs> so Kelly Rowland and Lala <laughs> and Severina Williams. And who, who I have my best friend, Yolanda Frederick. She's my makeup artist. Hi, Yolanda. She's somewhere around she's here. She's hot. Hi, she's Yolanda. Look, she's way over here. Oh, she's cute. Hi. <laughs> so I've known Yoli since I was 16 years old. Mm. But my, my friends, you know, have lifted me up at some of the most crucial times. They've also celebrated me with me at some of the most beautiful times. But I will say there is no better, you know, feeling and sense of comfort when you have your friends by your side. Like, you know, Girl Gang is real, right? That's yeah. the song, you know, Girl Gang. That is real. We need a place to go to because I really think that when we're going through tough times, if we don't have a place that if we don't have outlets, we will explode. What was the best thing that they did for you? Is there an advice or just a you moment? You know, just that being they, there yeah. and listening to me tell them the story in different ways over and over <laughs> and over, <laughs> and not telling me what I should do, but just being there and giving me wise advice. You know, because I believe you can't really, you shouldn't tell your friends what to do. They've got to go on their own kind of roller coaster themselves. But you do need to give them some wise words, you know, because that's the point of being friends. And you can't just be like, yeah, girl, jump off the clip, girl, go do. You can't be like, you know, do that. But you got to be there. You got to <laughs> be. So funny. You know what I mean, right? You can't send them just, you know, off the ledge, you know, <laughs> down the wrong, you know, path. If, they're, if it's getting too crazy, then you got to try. You got to you have to jump on in and debo that thing yeah. and try to save your friend, you know. But my friends, they've just been there to be good ears you yeah. know um it's yeah. hard when you see when you grow up and you like you were saying you see one thing you see you it's your it becomes your idea of what life is supposed to be like your mother and father get together they have a baby yeah. they stay together forever so you having that in your head the whole time and then that being rocked that like that that's that's like was be a little, real because that that's real. what i knew and yeah. then also when you live in your life in front of the world you know you kind of feel like feel like a failure like i feel like Oh, Lord, what they going to say about me now? Yeah, but Lord, what? No, go, you can't let people think that. Girl. No, but I mean, you know, but it's not so much about what people think. 
But that does, that adds more but how onto did you, the... Would you say that the things that you did or choices you made that contributed to, you know, being in bad places? And of course oh, you Oh, absolutely. Learned. But yeah. that's why I had to, like, really be specific when I was, like, looking forward. You know, and there's a moment of reflection when you look in the mirror and you have to say, okay, what am I doing that's, like... It's something I'm doing that's, like... Consistent, and I what need to switch that? that. Did you yeah. figure out what that was? Oh, I, I definitely figured out what it was. <laughs> <laughs> is it share worthy or, oh. or, you, or not yet? Yeah, not not even. We, we can talk about it another time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know, you just—it's like doing the same thing over and over is insanity, right? The same thing is, you know, the crazy, the bad stuff yeah. over and over. It's just, yeah. He said the it's cycle. cycle. <laughs> you know, if, if you if you keep running into a roadblock or like the wall, at some point in time, you gotta go like, okay, something has got to be a little different here. Like, I've got to do something different. Like, you know what I mean? You, I that's do. That's just real. Everybody's right? been there, by the way. And especially yeah. <laughs> when you want to grow, yeah. right? You got, and you got to be real with yourself. Like, I was really real with myself, but I think it's also because I was ready to be in a certain place. Because yeah. sometimes we're not ready for where, we, where we're supposed to be. We're not ready, where we're about to, ready for where we're about to go. Yeah. I was so ready. Like, I remember one time praying. Because on the song, I love myself. Yeah, the opening lines. But I just remember feeling it over my body. Like, to the point to where it's right now, when I'm talking to you, it's like... It's coming through me. Like, mm. I just, it was like almost having goosebumps. Like, I just knew, like, I could taste literally on my, like, it's the power of manifestation. Like, you can taste where you're about to go. You can taste what you want. You can taste what you need. You can taste what you deserve. Like, and you don't like the taste of what's not right. Like, you can feel it through your body. So, for me, I was committed. Like, it was like, no more of the same habits. Oh, no more of this feeling again. Like, it is not fun being what it's not fun doing all that like <laughs> that's not a good ah, time that's not healthy and you know what the biggest thing i will say for me is i am afraid of wasting my life i am afraid of wasting my life that's like even in the label scenario like i just felt if i don't start moving forward these great records that i have they'll never see the light of day and I work too hard, yeah. you know, to create this stuff, you know, for life. I work too hard. I'm not trying to keep running in circles. Like, I, I'm, and I, you know what, as women in particular, because, you know, the system with men, like, I, not to sound crazy, but, you know, Let it go. you can Sell get them, it. you can get Sell them, it. you can get them young things. All It don't matter. You can be 80 with the 21, or, you know, <laughs> not, for girls, it changes for us. And. You know, it's like, for me, it's like, look, and I'm going, I'm going to be hot at 80 now. Don't get twisted. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just afraid of wasting life. Like, life is so precious. And it's like, I want to maximize life. And I want someone that wants to maximize life with me. Like, that's what I was feeling. I wa it's like, you just want it. You can feel it can through I, your body. Can I ask you one question then? So yes. when you have all this and you know it's coming, you know what you want, you do this work. And then, like, um, the, car the curtain opens and Russell's standing there. <laughs> Like, do you know right away, or oh, yeah. does it take time? Oh, no, no. You, you know right away. <laughs> <laughs> you know right away. I remember looking at my husband the first night we met, and we both had the same... It was like a movie. When we both... When we talk about our story back to each other, yeah. we both had the same feelings, you know, in different ways because it was different scenarios. But we both talked about it. It was like a movie moment. Like, did that just happen? And it was like, I just, it was a calm feeling all over my body. And I also remember looking at him and I thought he was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And then, and I couldn't sometimes hear half what he was saying because I thought he was so beautiful. <laughs> it was like, whew, going over my head. Focus, focus, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when you know, you know, we say yeah. that. And we also talk about being equally yoked. It's just light, you know. When it's right, it's, it's light. It's easy, even in the toughest times. And I'm learning this, like, I was going to say, it doesn't, just because it's right doesn't mean it's always easy, Oh, right? yeah, no. no yeah, we, yeah. we definitely have moments where we'd be like, he thinks blue, I think red, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's just real, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, But when you're on the same page, you share the same vision, you have the same goals, the same passions, and communication, 
Yeah. Communication is huge. Like, if we can't communicate, we can't get anywhere. And we're really big on that. And even, like, the things that we just may not want to communicate about, we do it. Yeah. And we figure it out. And it's just easier. It's just easy. Because you're, like, morally grounded in the same type of way. We have the same understandings pretty much with mostly everything. So then you also don't feel like you're, like, compromising yourself either. Like, you don't feel like you don't fit in in certain situations because you're, like, yeah. On the same page, like yeah. it just and and no one's making you feel like uncomfortable either because you're on the same page. Everybody's gonna say those prayers tonight. I guess, <laughs> right? Everybody's gonna say them prayers. All I have to say is be specific, okay? Be specific. Be very specific. Okay. Know what you want. Know yourself. Know what you want and know what you don't want. And love yourself. And love yourself. Yes, yes ma'am.